What's up, game brothers? Back again with another video. Today we'll be doing a controller to pull yeah. full controller and the game tracks too. But guys, listen. What I really want to talk about is a trick called T mapless. T mapless is where you connect your controller to the game search too. You load up a game and you just play. No key mapper needed, no debugging needed, and no routing device is needed. All you have to do is load the game, Project Blood Strike, go into the controller settings, turn on show tabs in developer options on your device. So when you connect the controller, when you press the keys, you will see the input on the screen, you go into the game controller settings and move the keys to where the game sir X2 touches the screen. I'll be doing it right after this. So let's go. Okay game brothers. Firstly, we are going to use the PS4 controller with the Project Broad Strike. I will give you a demonstration how it works with the PS4 controller. I'll use my key mapper Panda Gamepad Pro. This controller is Bluetooth. And when we are through with this, We'll give you the game, sir. X2, bruh. 2024. The best controller to use is game, sir. Uh, let's go again. Okay, game burners. Firstly, we need to open our Panda or Key Mapper Panda Gamepad Pro. My device is rooted, so my Key Mapper activates automatic next we need to add our game you press on the plus search for the game blood strike add so the panda gamepad pro you have to activate it either with a pc or us wireless debugging wireless debugging uh, Go in your developer options, turn on show taps, then you just start the game. Alright, so once the game is started, you will notice the panda icon there. Press on your settings, controller settings, custom layout. Next, you plus on your panda. Next you press the plus there, you add your left analog here, next you move your right analog here, alright, next you add keys, fire, Reload, jump, bend down, aim, weapon, next you click on the key mapping keys and you press on the controller whichever keys you want to use.
All right. Triangle for Y. Reload, we use box. Bend down, use O. Jump, we use X. Fire, we use R2. Aim, we use L1. Alright. Save. Exit. Then we start the game. Uh, we can play the squad fight rank. Let's go. Match found. Select our character. If you notice there's the keys on the screen, the key mapping keys, you can press the panda, press the option, button opacity, remove it to zero, save, and it's gone. Nice. Select your loadout. Purchase, don't have any money, request. Load out. It's working. Slide jump. Bro, this game comes like Call of Duty Wars or Mobile. Let's go. Victory already. That's the first round. Alright, bigger gun. Nice. So game burners, with the key mapper you can mark you can map practically any keys on the screen. Enemy spotted. He's down. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. He's down. I need another weapon. So you can use triangle to switch your weapons. Yeah. 
It's really nice with the PS4 controller game, brothers. Very really nice. Let's go. Save zones come, let's go, let's go. Move, move, nigga, move, move, move. Victory game, brothers. Okay, game brothers. Now that we've covered the PS4 controller, it's time to use our Game Sir X2, bro. Okay, game brothers. Now that we've connected our Game Sir X2, first things first, we hold the G and the home button. Switch our light to green. Hit settings, hit controller, custom layout. Okay. Now that we are in the settings of the Project Blood Strike, what we are going to do now is that we are going to map the Project Blood Strike to the game Serex 2 we have completed the PS4 tutorial where we use the panda to map the keys to the project blood strike okay game brenners so once you enable show taps in the developer options of your Android device 
and you connect your game sir switch the light to green when you press the game sir it shows inputs on the screen don't know why my device is not showing the tabs now but I have mapped all the keys to the game sir x2 so if I press y you notice the tap is on the screen so we move the weapon over a little bit there we go we press start button we get the second weapon if we press x for reload there's the tap don't know if you can see it if you press r2 you show the top right there so you just move the keys the fire is there if you press the r2 you notice there's a top the game x 2 is touching the screen right there next you move the key right to where the top is so when you load up the game and you start when you press the r2 it actually presses the fire on the back the project blood strike we have the aim set we have the jump set, the bend down, the reload. Alright, so let's save and exit. Alright, this says gunfight. Let's try the gunfight. Let's go. Okay, game brenners. Select weapon. I don't have any save. Not this one. Okay, game burner. So now the game strikes to is connected. And what normally works when you switch the light to green, the left and the right analog usually works at first touch. But you have to move the keys to where the game server touches the screen. Taking fire. Taking fire. Where is he? There he is. Whoa! I guess my partner was killed. Let's go again. We're defeated. So game burners. If you notice on my right here, the PS4 controller is still connected. I'm going to disconnect the Bluetooth right now. Bluetooth off. Game 6 2 is still in charge. Let's go see if we can win this round. Bend down. My bend down. Okay, it's working out. My aim. Let's go, let's go. First aid. I didn't set a keys. I didn't set a key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang it. Removing the stand, let's go. Okay, game runners, we can't lose this one. There they are. Grenade, whoa! He's coming. Let's go. Don't die, man. Yes! We've won this Let round, game brand. Victory. It was close. <laughs> I 
My sensitivity needs to be adjusted, game runners. Next, I'll play the Battle Royale. Sensitivity needs to turn down a bit. Footsteps. Enemy down. Reload. Ooh. Enemy spotted. We lost, game runners. We lost. We lost. Dang it. Defeat. Let's go. Kill. One enemy remaining. There he is. Seems like he's offline. I need to adjust the keys, bro. He's offline. Size, increase the size. All right, save. Exit. Let's go. My partner is down. The aim. People would probably say I suck at this game, bro. Taking hit. Come down.
the aim needs to be adjusted. I want when I press the aim, it aims at the same time. Yes, the aim is fixed now. We have to make the icons are much, the icons much bigger. Not too bad game runners. This is just a tutorial showing how you can use the game CX2 to play any mobile game where you can map the keys. with the game Serex 2 so that's it game runners Je peux tout cabouter